Hi, it's Christy and I'm back with some more shoebox packing tips and this one's about engaging the child's senses. So really quick, think about for a second what you have put in your shoebox is what's your favorite thing you put in your shoebox that will really um, engage and challenge and excite the child's uh, senses when they see it in the box. Well, is it colorful? That's the first thing I wanted to mention. Color, color, lots of color. We can put, I, I can tell you for, for sure that when I was at the processing center, there were a lot of boxes that were very drab and didn't have any color, especially if they were for boys for some reason. But boys things don't have to be drab. Look at this cool car from Dollar Tree. Um, I just love it. It reminds me of a Batman car. And it's fun, it's colorful, and there's another one. Purple and orange. I mean, that is gonna be catching the senses, the vision of a child underneath. It's like a bright orange. It's great for a shoe box. Here's another one. Here's a boat, turquoise and yellow. I love it, and it would grab the senses, um, the sight of a child, that sense of sight. Um, let's talk about even school supplies. We have choices. When we get the um, pencil pouches, we can get a whole slew of black ones or a whole slew of gray ones, but you can also get colorful ones. And I know a lot of you do that, but sometimes you haven't thought about it. You're just starting to pack shoe boxes. This has never occurred to you. So the things in your pencil pouch can also be colorful. That's a blue pencil sharpener, a bright rainbow sharp um, eraser. Look at these cute rulers that are available for toddlers. I think that was at the top Target dollar spot. There's an orange one too. It's just so cute. And these are the plastic ones that are colorful that I've gotten and pencil top erasers. And I know that you're thinking right now, oh yeah, I put this, this, or this that's colorful in my pencil pouch. And I hope you do because there's so many ideas for school supplies, the notebook, um, pencils, all different ways we can add color to the child's world. Um, here's some figures. I don't know if you put these little figures in some of your five to nine or 10 to 14 boxes, but color, think color when you're picking out anything for your shoe box. Um, well, I guess a lot of my stuff here has color, but I'm gonna move on to the second um, category, which is texture. So this, yes, bright color, I love the blue. But look at the texture, the satin ribbon. Do you have a child or when you were a child, do you remember a blankie with a satin ribbon? This is so soft and nice, this crown that Michelle makes. Beautiful um, felt on the back, which is also soft and it's a pleasing sensory item. Love the crown and wow, there are so many fun things to choose that are soft. But so many people don't include a soft toy. When I was at the processing center, I was saying, please give me some soft toys to add to these boxes because they didn't have a single soft toy. So here's an example of a doll. Of course, we have lots of different options for plush. Um, here's big a big doll and some dolls are plastic, which is great. And then I would say include a receiving blanket, a nice soft blanket. This one's made out of flannel to go with the doll, wrap it around with a satin ribbon, and you've got sensory wow going on with a doll. This doll already has, she's like a minky doll, and this is a silky dress. So she already has a lot um, of good sensory things going on with her. Um, oh, fun, soft, Minnie Mouse. Of course, Beanie Babies are so soft. I love this horse. This is an Aurora dog, super, super cute and soft. So many soft things that you can add to your shoe boxes, plush and um, 
oh, all kinds of dolls and dresses and blankets. Oh, look at this. This is um, a lovey that Michelle makes. So soft, the minky on the back, the satin ribbon. It's just wonderful. And also, this is the rattle that she makes and the, the wooden ring she also makes the um, dancing ribbons with. That's a perfect example, colorful. And then there's the little ribbon rubbing against each other when they, so it causes a sound and a visual um, excitement for a child. Those, I'm, I have mine all packed in boxes and I couldn't unpack them. I couldn't find them because I just, I looked and looked and I didn't find them. So, so I just have to, I'll leave the link below um, that shows the example of the dancing ribbons because they're so, so cute and beautiful and so uh, great for sensory. Now this, besides being soft, these little rattles lead us to our next category, which is sound. So it's always nice if you could have at least one thing in the box that has a nice, gentle, soothing sound. So these rattles are one thing you can use. I've seen several people using these xylophones, which, well, of course I'm not holding it, but it has a nice, gentle, soft sound to it, and it's colorful. So it hits two of the categories for one item. That's a good, good um, thing for sound. Also, whistles, harmonicas, um, a recorder. I've seen some people um, include recorders. Um, did I forget anything? Oh, um, tambourines. Oh, and those um, egg shakers are really nice. And they have some pretty painted, like um, they look like uh, ladybugs and it, real cute that you can find on Amazon. Um, also, even some wind-up toys, like the little robots or the little dinosaurs that walk, they make kind of a little sound. That's just a, a nice, soft um, sound for a child to listen to. It's not um, overwhelming. And that is gonna bring me into, yes, I think I covered the first three. Um, it's gonna bring me into number four category, which is the noises and the, th the things that we want to avoid when we put in our box for because of the sensory overload or the, the shock that it might bring to the child that is a negative experience. So for um, number four, we are recommending, this is Michelle and I, Michelle's my partner and she runs the website blessingsinissuebox.com. Um, stay away from anything that could be alarming or ethnocentric. So loud sounds um, that can be scary, monster noises, loud shocking music, um, sirens and alarms. So a lot of toys in America come with those kinds of sounds and it's just something that a lot of kids here like and play with. But in other cultures, we can't assume that that won't be offensive to their senses um, because they haven't had the same, they don't have the same culture, they don't have the same um, surroundings that we do. So it's nice to be able to be careful and aware of that. So no monster noises, loud music, sirens, alarms, um, of course, like weapon sounds, um, you know, gun sounds or, or bomb sounds. Um, those are in our toys in America. So just be careful about that. And then um, I just will recap then for the first three. The first one I said was color. The second one was soft, nice, soothing textures. And the third one was gentle musical sounds. To be able to add those things to our shoebox will take it up a notch. Um, just be aware, it's a fun thing actually to make a box and look at it and see all of those elements coming together and knowing that it's gonna be super um, uh, special to the child that receives it, that all of their senses are gonna be um, pleased when they look and touch and listen to the things in their box. I know that you guys all want that for your boxes and so do I. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below which category is most important to you, color, texture, or music. Um, and let me, let me hear what, what your toys that you of choice are that you like to include a box in your box 
for Operation Christmas Child to cover these things. Uh, Cause you could get one item that covers all of it and you're set. So let me know because I know there's a lot of people that have their special um, personal loving toys that they love the most. I'm interested to find out. So God bless you, everybody. Um, I pray that you're really excited as we approach the deadline for Operation Christmas Child and you're packing, packing a lot of boxes and the Lord's providing for you. So God bless you and bye for now.